Right, so we're fitting uh, now this new piece of Perspex. The piece of uh, wire is in there, it's all been created and it moves really quite nicely. And what I'm doing now is trying to work out where these arms are likely to go. This is very hit and miss, this process. And now I'm using the Dremel with a nice little milling cutter in there to uh, pull that out so that in fact uh, it will fit the arm. I've now got this connected, as you can see, onto the, uh, onto the um, rotating um, part of the contraption inside. Gee, I'm getting lost for words here. And that's all looking, that's all looking pretty good, and I'm just checking for clearance. And now I've got a ball joint that I've put into there. I'm not using what I initially thought, which was a, um, which was going to be a connector onto a, onto a wire running down the middle of the uh, hydroplane. I realised that there was too much movement and it needed to be flexible. So what I've done is I've I've installed a ball into the inside of the plane. And now this ball joint is enabling uh, some movement because there's going to be lateral movement as well when this plane tilts. So there we have it. Um, and I'm now just looking at the position of that bar coming in. I've been doing some measurements on here. You can see the ball there and the, and the, the, um, um, the cup. I think it's the best way of doing it, and in fact, pr this proved to be very much the case. This is all from a photocopier, by the way. I'm looking for some gears now to make the retract system work, but I ended up using these, which I bought from a, a shop quite a number of years ago, because of the right size and they work. Just getting the centers right, 24 mil. Now we uh, drill them in. And what I'm doing now, though, I think, is just trying to work out where they're going to go in relation to those arms that are coming in. This took a bit of time, actually, a bit of fiddling around, just thinking about where they should be. All right, haven't moved very far, but I'll tell you where we're up to. Um, by fiddling with this, I've marked on the areas on here where roughly the um, arm is going to go, and I'm going to have to machine that down a little bit so that the so that the arm will fit properly. Because as you can see, if it was complete, if it, if it was vertically placed above where the tube goes, it actually cuts into this material. So I'll have to mill that down, number one. I found uh, two gears, which will work quite nicely with this. Worked out what the centers were. So the plan will be to, if this is the um, perspex, drill two holes, and it, it, it is in fact 24 mil apart for these gears to mesh. Now the gears uh, have a piece of uh, have a three mil core. I've got this lovely um, brass which ha which slides, you know, into that nice sheath. So what I'm going, it's bigger than three mil. So I'm going to put that on the lathe and very carefully turn that down so that it's a, a, an interference fit with those gears. Just a bit. So I'm going to have something like this. I'm going to have a little, little reduction in width for the gears. That's going to fit inside the sleeve so it turns nicely and that will go into the 6mm perspex. Now the plan will be on this side to put the gear, push that on so that it fits onto there and it will push up to that little um, uh, ridge. Then what I want is another piece that's going to cover the whole thing. I'm not exactly sure what the... Um, this, this depth here is going to be deep enough to give this a nice uh, it, it, it won't be a tight fit, it'll be a very loose fit, but that will hold the gear in place. One of these can finish here, but the other one's going to be longer because I'm going to fasten onto here an arm 
with a ball in it so that I can move this and both of the gears then move. On this side I'm going to have the same routine. I'm going to have that but, but the ball is going to sit inwards because and I'm going to have to reduce the thickness on this somewhat so that the, the head of the coupling can fit in there. And if I do that, I think I've got it right. I think I'll have this working very nicely, other than the fact that this is actually up there. Don't care about that. These are all going to be screwed in. Um, so I'll need to make three of them. Um, they're going to be adjustable. Everything will be adjustable. I'll put a couple of holes in here and a couple of holes in here so that I can adjust the length. And I think we've got it. So I'm pushing this in now, a nice interference fit using a socket just to assist in the process. You really always need a good vise, by the way. My vise is my right hand. They fit nicely. This is my bit of perspex. Um, I've drilled the holes now, just fitting them in with the sleeves over the shafts because the sleeves will be glued in and the shafts um, will run freely inside them and that's pretty good pretty happy with that um, the now as you can see I need the two arms on this side that are going to work in unison to pull the um, to pull the servos to pull the hydroplanes in and in principle that's working pretty well that's what I'm looking for I've made some spaces, as you can see, on the other side to give some room for all of that. And now this is working pretty well. I've got the uh, ball joints and the cups there as well. I'm using whopping big screws to mount them because I'm I've now what I've had to do here is open this gap up inside the hydroplane dramatically because I've discovered that it just needs a lot of play. It needs a lot of room. So I used the uh, milling cutter on my Dremel and really opened them out. Now this is looking pretty nice. As you can see, there's a huge hole on the hydroplane. I'm going to cover that when we, when we get to the point of... Um... In fact, I noticed on actual pictures of the submarine that there was a, a, a bit of a bulge there from the ball joint or whatever it is on that side. But now I'm using both levers. I was just there to, to shift everything around. Now I'm trying to work out where a servo is going to go. Clearly the servos are going to go in the water and I'm going to waterproof them. It's not perfect, but it's probably a good way of doing it. And the way I'm doing this is making a nice uh, um, rectangle of perspex, drilling holes in it, tapping them so that that will fit. And I'm not really worried about the overlap because that will all change. So I'm screwing them in so that I've got um, some nice um, purchase into there so that it's all going to be nice and firm. And now I'm just marking out where I'm going to have to cut this uh, piece of rectangular perspex to make it all work. And that's now nicely shaped for the uh, servo and nicely shaped to fit my contraption. It's probably the best way of describing it. Just testing it in the bow to make sure it fits and it does. So there's the servo all ready to go. These are Traxxas waterproof servos. They're not really waterproof for submarines. You need to do more work on them. But here it is and that is the linkage for the hydroplanes. Now I end up not being happy with this. There's not enough movement and I change it. And, and believe me, you need to be able to do that. So now I've mounted, the, I'm mounting the servo which is going to do the retract motion. Exactly the same process, rectangular piece of perspex, nicely tapped holes into the perspex, putting it all together, and then at some point or another I'm going to grind all that perspex off so that all I'm left with is, the, um, is what I need. Here we go, just marking out what has to what has to go now, all of that. 
<laughs> and the best way of doing that is just to put it in the bench grinder and grind it all off. Easy peasy. It's, it looks extraordinarily complicated when this thing is finished, and it is, but I want you to notice the process. It's just, it's just um, a series of steps to get to where you want to be in the end. That's it, just mounting that. It takes a lot of testing and playing with and fiddling around to get this right. Okay. Now, needless to say, I want that servo to move that lever. Just checking for clearance. It's a bit tight, this one. But it fits. 